I've been thinking a lot about the meaning of life lately. Not what I think the meaning of life is. My answer to that question is, I'm pretty sure, excruciatingly typical. Something, something, bring joy to others, yada, yada, love your family, don't watch the television program Supernatural, you know, the usual stuff. No, lately, I've been thinking about what Christians think the meaning of life is. So, spoilers for an upcoming episode of our sister show, God Awful Movies, but a couple months ago, we reviewed this 1950s Christian educational film called Teenage Conflict. And there's this moment in the movie where the former atheist scientist says to the questioning youth in the high-waisted khakis and suspenders that, contrary to what he thinks, Jesus is what gives his life meaning. And when I heard that, I thought to myself, holy shit, is that what they actually think the meaning of life is? I mean, look, not only do they think they answered that question, a level of hubris that's baffling by itself, but the answer they got is, the meaning of life is to worship Jesus and convince other people to worship Jesus until you die so you can go to heaven and hang out with Jesus. And they're sticking with it. That's their final answer, Regis. And I mean, how much must the world fail to impress you for that to be an acceptable answer? I mean, look, during the Bronze Age, I kind of get it, right? You're dying of your teeth at the ripe old age of 25. The thought that there's got to be something better is comforting. But to look around this world of art and music and internet pornography and think, this is some veil of tears shit right here. Let me tell you, that takes some confidence or maybe a lack of it. Because I wonder if that's not at least a part of the reason the religious seem to hate atheists so much. Because if you're watching the preview, and I'm telling you it's the show, that's annoying, but it's not, I don't think you should be able to hold public office annoying. And in the grand scheme of things, life is a pretty tiny fraction of eternity. So why bother getting so mad? Unless you know that you are watching the show and that instead of enjoying it, you've spent most of it, loudly announcing that you can't wait to see what comes after this preview. I mean, by the time most folks get around to really questioning the religious beliefs they have, if you'll excuse the expression, they've sunk an awful lot of cost into that fallacy. Because when it comes right down to it, everybody knows there's no one right answer to what the meaning of life is. But there are definitely wrong answers. And there ain't much sadder than knowing you've got the wrong answer and sticking to it anyway. 